Hey there guys and welcome. Today we're going to be working on how to um, make your enemy shoot bullet in a spread or a player or anything. So I have a simple game here where the player follows the mouse and it's following you with a particular rotation So and actually is looking at the mouse. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting um, our rotation and adding a value to it adding and subtracting some values to it hopefully what i said made sense we're going to look at all this in the code and as you can see if i just shoot um it shoots one so yeah so we're gonna make it shoot about three or so and you can vary that number according to what you want so here we have our simple gun so this is my gun scripts for my player and yeah this is my player this is my gun so the gun I'm not using the collision, the countdown system anymore. I'm using one other system which is really weird and I don't really like it. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, if this uh, is in a function like this, yeah, it works. And if it's even if it's not in a function, if it's just like this, it also works. So anyone that is better for you, um, by basically in a function anyway, so that we can organize your code. So yeah, we have our shoot function um, being called every time that we press the select key. And the select key is the spacebar by default. So here, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to loop through an array. And it's going to add a particular amount to um, our particular rotation at that point in time. So actually, I'm going to get rid of this. Because yeah, we need the raw code. And if you, if you want to do this in a, in a kind of different way, you can do it um, by having some variables. But I want to keep this tutorial simple for beginners, okay? So yeah, I want to keep it simple. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say for i, or let's say for angle, in the array. So what this is going to do is, it's going to, this, this is actually called the for loop, if you didn't know. So it's going to loop through um, this and whatever is in it, um, whatever is in the code. It's going to loop through it um, according to the number of or according to the number of values in this array, or according to, yeah, and it's going to use the values in this array. For example, if we have a one, two, three, <laughs> sorry, one, two, three, and a four. What this is going to do is it's going to pick one and say angle is equal to one and it's going to look through this array so anywhere here where you can see angle we're going to fix in one there to so come again and make array equal to two do the same thing make array equal to three do the same thing and yeah just keep going on and on like that but when this is done um, when it's done with four it's going to break this array and continue whatever was left down here so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And here we're going to, this values will be a, we're going to start with a three, um, three spread for a start. So this value is going to be a 0 0.1, sorry, a minus 0 0.1. Then the other one is going to be 0. Sorry, the next one is going to be 0. And the third one is going to be 0 0.1. So what this is going to do is, as, as I said before, it's going to pick angle and say angle equals to, and 0 0.1 angle equals 0 and angle equals 0 0.1 so what this is um, we're going to add our current rotation um, by this angle value so how we're going to do this is we're going to say at the end here is mm -hmm. to get parent the rotation actually we're going to get the rotation underscore degrees okay we're going to get the rotation degrees instead so let's say rotation degrees well, if you don't want to get the rotation degrees, you can just say, um, yeah, Godot makes it easy, so you just say plus deg, deg to rad, deg to rad. I think I'm going to use this method instead. So we say deg, deg to rad, and we're going to say um, angle. So this is going to set the bullet rotation to our um, parent rotation plus the angle so at this point in time the angle will either be minus 0 0.1 a 0 or a 0 0.1 so it's going to 
kind of give us that spread because the angles actually differ. So yeah, we're gonna try that out and see how it gives, how it turns out. And okay, nothing really happens. And I think actually, I'm sorry, this problem was for me. Um, my other stuff were in here, and I just had to bring it out here. So actually, your gun will most likely have a delay. And just make sure that that delay is outside of this for loop because if it's inside the for loop, it's gonna not it's not really gonna work. And another thing I made a mistake in is the angle. Um, the angle right now is gonna add 0.1 to its rotation, not its rotation degrees. I'm sorry for that. Um, we don't need to convert this to um, a radian value. It's already um according to what I've written here. It's already in radian. So if you want to change this to something like um, um, rotation degrees, like if you're using a rotation degrees, you can just say rad to deg, rad underscore rad to sorry rad to deg, and you just put this in. That's only if you're using a rotation degrees. Okay. So yeah, I think that should be it for this. Um, I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna show you. Sorry. Down here and if I hit the space bar you can see that three spread bullet there. So if you want to increase like the spread you can just go ahead and increase the values um in this array and if you want like a more spread what you're gonna do is here you just say minus 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 zero point two and make sure that they have a particular value um addition like here you can see minus 2 plus 0 0.1 min yeah minus 2 point 0 point 0.1 to give you this plus 0 point 0.1 to give you this plus 0 point 0.1 to give you this so yeah we're doing it like that so that we can have a, an equal distance between bullets so here we're gonna add again 0 0.2 okay we're gonna try this out and you see that it's gonna give us 4 bullets sorry 5 I think yeah I think 5 bullets there so here it is um, the spread is nice everything works nicely if you want more you can just increase the number and yeah all those things will add up and all that stuff another way you can um, automate this value like add it automatically is by using a while loop and i don't think i'm gonna go that way because i really want to keep this tutorial short i don't want to bore you guys with all that stuff so yeah i think that's it for everything I think I'm going to leave the code for that in the description. Maybe if I don't, just remind me in the comments. Thanks. So yeah, I think that's all we need. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, as always, leave it in the comment section. I'm going to leave this project on GitHub so you can go there and download it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. <laughs> Sorry, nobody uses Facebook anymore. Yeah, thanks again for watching and goodbye.